All right, guys, we are back with more from What Remains of Edith Finch. After that legitimately shocking ending there. Huh. Surprised it's not giving me an opportunity to interact with that. Alright, so... Just careful on the joists, son. Yeah, this is definitely the survivalists area. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. Man. They both lost a lot. Gregory, Dawn, and Gus. That is a deeply creepy picture of that baby. Please don't make me play as the dead baby. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh no. The rest of us don't. That baby in there by himself? Hold on, sweetie. Hello? Is this the pink bathtub? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. I wonder what he saw. See, watch me get copyrighted for this, too. There's like... I mean, is this... Oh, God, it's ballet music. Nutcracker, maybe? Should be worried about is the baby drowning in this in this tub. That's what you should be worried about. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it! Hold on, 
I don't want Victor to hear this. So this is interesting. I was just complaining last episode about the game not wanting to be a game, and they're definitely giving me some hints about what they want this time. I wish you could have told us about the world we saw. I'm gonna drown this baby, aren't I? There's so much I don't understand about Gregory, about everything. So yeah, there. I'm sure I'm gonna get a copyright hit on this. Just be aware that there should be music playing right now, like ballet music. Oh, this is creepy. All the bath toys. <laughs> Put the book away, Edith. All the bath toys are in there with him. I don't know, that was messed up. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... A poem for Gus who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Okay. Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. This is kind of neat, too, actually. Hope there's more letters. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I, I now pronounce you husband and wife. So nobody seems to be noticing There we go. Oh, it was a totem pole. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> finger and come here do not rhyme. All the humans did that day was go inside the tent. The house is still out there with the light on it. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. I'd be more worried about the flying bats where the chairs and the tree came from. I 
explains that. There's a little more. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Man. Emergency evacuation plan. Yeah, that'd probably be helpful if it was, like, actually possible to get out of the house. Posters and everything are weird. Craig, be a baby. Really? My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Looking to see if we can get... Yeah, okay. So, I cannot get any higher. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about. But I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Ah, okay. Ten ways to teach critical thinking, huh? Maybe I could use that. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think Mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. So you're now definitely in the weird, like, and for a while, upper areas in the house. Good. Almost normal. Not sure how much of this is normal, but I'll let you have that. Reading is a hoot. That's absolutely true. But it didn't last. Observation, question, research, hypothesis, experiment, data, conclusion. Yeah, that's it. Oh, she wrote a book. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Okay, but again, this is not remotely structurally sound. So, I can go up there. I think the game wants me to check this out. I 
After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. There's going to be goodies over here, but it's always worth taking the extra look. Finch in the magic paintbrush. for when Milton disappeared. So that's interesting. She's got a date of death on there for him. Which we don't necessarily know that he's dead. I mean, given the game. Not an unreasonable guess, but... Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Can't go that way because the door is spray foam shut. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. <laughs> Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. That's not going to work. Let's go this way. So this is a boat, right? Like... Alright, I think we got time for one more. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Huh. Oh, wait, I'm not doing this. I said, okay, I can't go back in. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. I get it, Lewis. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, 
shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. God. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. So for the record, I am doing this. To wander? Wander. Oh, okay. I'm doing this too. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. So I'm controlling both parts of this right now. He'd feel his way about. Uh-oh. Then something moved. Things that have not names. It's getting creepier. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. Good way to lose a hand. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Come on, like a whole fish. New Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Oh, a puppy. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Tobin. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds even the stones under his feet were all in his imagination so he could do whatever he wished he held an election for mayor and he won I mean I would think Lewis would be the mayor of Lewistopia to but his mind was already wandering it became a game for him. Oops. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. See, that was obvious, and I should have gotten it. He started drifting advanced. away from our reality.
Minneapolis. <laughs> until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. You'd think somebody would turn off the fish dispenser at the end of his shift. I, is that how this works? I have no idea. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Let's go to a beautiful prince. Beautiful prince. That's interesting. So is the Sanskrit. I think that's what that is. The prince was on his own quest for... No, we want rainbows. Radiant rainbows. Apparently I'm not very good at the radiant rainbows. No. He followed the sound of his... Electric sitter. Knew somebody who played the sitar at one point. He used to bring it with him to parties. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Okay, so now we've completely lost the background. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than uh, What do they do with all the fish heads? someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It's hard to argue with him. He began to forget the world we know. He's a big fan of that poster, apparently. Those posters. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Calico had insisted on advising him. The 
fish worked into the walls were a nice touch. Bend down his head. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. All right. We're going to bring this one to a close. I think this will be the last one I record tonight as well. Uh, just like always, if you're having fun, leave a like and a subscribe. I don't think there's that much left. I mean, we've been making our way through the house, and there's not a whole lot of house left. So we will see. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again with more soon.